the Masons met at the lodge, they met on the 14th, and they cut a secret treaty with the post office to take over the Hawaiian Islands after all Hawaiians were declared dead 20 years later. It's called the Death Moratorium. Now, the Death Moratorium was established in 1849 by King Kamehameha III and said that if you are off the land or dead for 20 years, the land is free for settlement. So then we went back before that in October 22nd, 1872, was the first paper money issued in Hawaii. That meant that the post office through Bern, Switzerland, got the King Kamehameha V to file bankruptcy, ship the gold out, and bring paper money in. And that's when the paper money started in Hawaii. Exactly 45 days later, under Maritime Law of Trust, which was December 7th, King Kamehameha V dies. Yeah, dies, right. 45 days from the time he files bankruptcy, the bankruptcy trust expired. So now he is the last reigning monarch in Hawaii, and he dies, putting 1.8 million acres of land up for grabs, according to this treaty. That was better known as the Bishop's Trust, for those of you who know about it. Now this number, December 7th, is real keen. Now if you take 45 days from that, you get the 14th plus three-day grace period, better known as the Lemon Law. You have the same thing in this country, a three-day grace period when you sign a contract. So you got December 17th now, 45 days plus a three-day grace period of 1873. Add the 20-year moratorium, you get 1893. And when did they, the United States government, or United States Postal Service controls all military vessels in the United States and Japan? This is a real keen thing here. 1893, you get the, you get the uh, 17th day of January, 1893, and that's when they, the United States government comes in with the warship and orders King Ilani, uh, Queen Iolani to stand down. Now, through a little research, because I'm a 92nd degree Mason, Queen Iolani is a Eastern star. Because she's an Eastern Star, she takes her orders from the Postmaster General of Hawaii, who was the Chief Master Mason. He takes his orders from the Admiralty warship that pulled into port on the 14th of January, 1893, under the three-day law, ordering him to take over the palace. And Queen Iolani, on the 17th of January, goes ahead and surrenders Hawaii to the, to the Masons which are controlling the post office. And the post office, through the military, now takes over and declares the Hawaiian Islands to be a territory of, of the United States.